Okay, in this geometry construction video, we are going to circumscribe a circle around a triangle. And in the next half of the video, we are going to inscribe a circle inside of a triangle. So um, let's get started. As we do this, you'll kind of notice we'll discuss some of the theorems and properties of geometry and construction that help us get this done. Um, for in this case, the most significant one is basically understanding how the triangles work in terms of medians, altitudes, angle bisectors, and perpendicular bisectors. And what you might have remembered is that if you take all three of the perpendicular bisectors, they will intersect, they're concurrent, at a point inside the triangle, in which case that is the circumcenter. Um, let's go ahead and get this started for this acute triangle. Um, we're going to first have to construct a perpendicular bisector and if you might recall from geometry construction the best way to do that is to utilize the equidistance theorem which says if you can get two points that are equidistant to endpoints they will form a perpendicular bisector so let's get started let's take this one endpoint here and let's draw an arc of one length here and to the bottom here. And let's do an arc of the same length on the other vertex, like that. And what you discover is that these are both equidistant to the endpoints. Therefore, if you draw a segment through these points, you will get a perpendicular bisector. Okay. So we have, this is perpendicular, these are congruent. Um, and so we have one of our perpendicular bisectors and we need two more. So let's turn this over and create a new base of our triangle. Okay. And again, we take out our compass and we'll pick out endpoints. The vertex up here is one down here. And then we'll go to this vertex for the other endpoint. And again, we have ourselves two points that are each equidistant from the endpoints. And notice we now have two intersecting perpendicular bisectors. Uh, we'll do the third one just to check our work a little bit. And again, we'll take our compass and up here is one arc, down here is another arc, and then from this vertex, this arc and that arc, and they intersect and this will confirm that it does go through our point. Okay. And we have our circumcenter is right here in the middle. This is a perpendicular line. So here we have we have our three perpendicular bisectors that intersect at the circumcenter. And the cool thing about the circumcenter is if you draw a segment to each vertex. So let's draw one to this vertex, light and orange, and do this vertex for six. Using congruency theorems of triangles, you can show that all three of these segments are congruent. And of course, you might recall that uh, in a circle, all radii are congruent. So theoretically, if we can use this center, and these are our three radii, we should have ourselves a circle that touches each of these radii. So what we're going to do is get this just right. Confirm this. Make sure I got the right arc here, right distance. Okay. So here we go off the circumcenter. And hopefully you can see this. And there you have it. So using the center that we created, the circumcenter, and our compass with the length of one of these orange segments that go from the circumcenter to one of the vertices, you should notice that we can draw a circle that circumscribes the triangle. Now let's change it up a little bit, and in this case, we are going to inscribe a circle inside the triangle. And it's very similar to the other method, but in this case, instead of starting with 
the perpendicular bisectors of the sides, we are going to go to the angle bisectors of the angles. Then, of course, they're going to intersect at a point inside the circle, and that intersecting point will be the in center. And then from the in center, we can construct three line segments that are equidistant to the sides. And since three segments will be in equidistance, they will form our radii of the circle. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, hopefully you recall from other lessons about construction, uh, we are going to construct an angle bisector. And to do that, you start at the vertex and sweep an arc through the two sides. That gives us two equidistant segments. And then from each of these intersecting points, we're going to do an arc up here. And from this one, an arc up here. And therefore, you have congruent segments, congruent distances. And from this intersecting point, we will construct a line segment. So we have our first perpendicular, first angle bisector is right here. So these are congruent. Okay. Then what we'll do is we'll go to the second vertex and we will do the same thing. We will sweep an arc through the sides. And then from each side, we will construct an arc. There's one up here and over here is another arc. Okay, and the point of intersection, again, these are congruent. These are congruent. And using geometry theorems, we know, therefore, this forms our angle bisector. And so we'll construct it through there. And these are congruent. And we have our intersecting point. This will be our in center. Uh, we'll draw one more angle bisector just to check our work. So again, we start at the top vertex, sweep an arc through its sides. And then from each of the sides, we draw arcs that will intersect. Okay, and let's check our work. So if we draw from this intersecting point to the vertex, we have right there is our in center. And now the next thing we have to do is we have to draw three segments from this inner sen in center to each of the sides. And of course, the closest distance between a point and a line segment is a straight line. And more importantly, it's a perpendicular line. So what we need to do is we need to draw a perpendicular line from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. And those three perpendicular lines will be equidistant. So how are we going to do that? Let's go ahead and try this way. Let's take this point. And let's draw, sweep an arc through the segment. Okay, and we can we construct two intersecting points. And from each of those intersecting points, let's draw another arc from there and from here. And again, we have an intersection. So let's take Let's draw a segment, a line segment from this intersection to the in center. And using geometry properties, we know this is perpendicular because these are equidistant, these are equidistant. And therefore, we have one of our segments. So that's the first one. And in fact, I'm going to highlight it in orange. This is our first segment from the in center to a side. Okay. And we will do the same thing for the next one. And I'm going to turn the page over to make it a little bit easier. Okay. And again, we'll take the in center and we will sweep an arc through the side. And we have our two intersections. And from each of those intersecting points, we will draw another arc here and here. And they intersect to help us form our perpendicular line. And so this is our second perpendicular line. Okay. And again, I'll highlight it in orange. And we can actually, and we'll do the third one as well. We don't, almost don't even have to anymore because since we've already got the line segment, we know the length of our radius. And this is our second one. So we're actually just doing this to check our work. 
but we could actually just start and just draw the circle right now but I'll draw the other perpendicular line so again just for practice we start again at the end center and we draw an arc through the points through this other side and then from each of the intersecting points actually let's make sure yeah from each of these intersecting points we will draw an arc up here and an arc here and again we draw our segment perpendicular line okay so we have our perpendicular line and again we can even put it in orange just to highlight it and there you have it so we have these three segments that I've highlighted in orange they're all perpendicular and they join they're the same distance from the in center to the side and now we just finish it up by setting up our compass with the same length as each of those three one two and three and now we just finish up and just draw our circle like so and there's a lot of sketching here but hopefully you can see it make it as dark as possible and hopefully you see it so here's our circle round round here and again, the way you do it is you bisect each of the angles to form your in-center. And then from your in-center, you draw a perpendicular line segment to the side to create three congruent segments. And these three congruent segments become the radius of the radii of your inscribed circle.